Hi everybody, this is uh, Shane Moran with OTS Endurance Coaching and TeamZenBerryMix.com. Today we're going to talk about um, saddle sores and uh, how to prevent them and what causes them. Um, uh, saddle sores have, they're very painful, it's kind of like a little pimple on your sit bone or your inner thigh or somewhere where you're making contact with the saddle. Uh, it's debilitating sometimes. Uh, and there are professionals that have actually, I remember one professional, uh, he, he, I think it was team sky. He, he actually had to, uh, abandon the tour de France on the last stage into Paris because of a saddle sore. He was so painful. He made those three weeks and had to actually abandon on the last day because he couldn't even pedal anymore because the saddle sore was so bad. They could become infected. It could become a real problem. Um, I used to get saddle sores really bad when I first started riding. Um, it comes down to my my advice is you you, you need to get a bike fit. You you got to fit on your bike properly. If you don't, you're gonna get pressure points and and your contacts on the bike aren't gonna be correct, and you're 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 going to um, cause pressure and chafing and saddle sore. Um, the other thing is, do not. This is a big mistake I made in the beginning. Do not skimp on your your shorts. I know they're very expensive. Do not buy the cheap ones. It, you know, it all comes down to you. you you're going to do this a lot. You want to be comfortable, and a saddle sore, uncomfortable bibs are going to really, really ruin your ride. Uh, so, and pay special attention to the chamois. The chamois is the pad inside the shorts. You want one that's good. Don't skimp on that. I've paid extra to have really good ones put into my into the, our team kits because there's nothing worse. Um, that you need a properly fitting saddle, um, and this is something that you can't just say, "Oh, you got to use this saddle." You, you really have to find one that fits your your uh, uh, physiology, your bone structure. Um, there's a lot of different ones out there that, you know, uh, they can measure you and figure figure out which one's most likely to be the, the best saddle for you. But again, you, sometimes you have this trial and error. You got to try stuff out. I bought saddles, tried them for a week, and then just had to put them on eBay. Um, a lot of shops will often have test saddles where you can take them out for a week and try them out. Um, uh, that's a good thing to do. You have a, a, bad, a bad saddle doesn't fit your body right. It's going to cause all sorts of pain, numbness. And then chafing, and uh, which leads to uh, saddle sores. The other thing I like: some people don't use any chamois cream, and some people do. Uh, I like it because it, it just gives a little bit of a layer of uh, lubrication, I guess, um, and it helps fight infection. It keeps bacteria down. So overall. Uh, some of them are a little minty, so it, you know it's cool in the summer. You know, ah, it's minty down there. You, you know, you're you're cool everywhere else. Uh, but uh, it, it it some people don't know what this stuff is or how to use it. I I like using natural stuff as much as you can find the petroleum based stuff. I don't like rubbing petroleum anywhere on my body, especially on the you know the nether regions and fun parts. Those aren't good areas to be rubbing petroleum. I don't think. Um, but do what you want. Find one that works. Uh, this one I'm using right now is Soy You Ride. And let me see right there. It's not cheap, but it's uh, it's um, it's pretty good. Soy based. It's you know anti chafing. Doesn't have any junk in it. It's got you you know it's using uh, seed oil, you know, and uh, all these different waxes and uh, and herbs. So far, it's pretty good. You know, washes out pretty good. Doesn't damage the chamois. Um, I think uh, Hammer makes one now. It's all, it's all natural. Um, but you know, f find stuff at your bike shop or online and and, and see what works. And I'm going to talk to you about how to apply it. Um, you don't need to put it everywhere. You know, <laughs> this stuff's not cheap, so you don't want to just waste it and put it in places that you don't need it. Okay, so here we are. I got. You know, a pair of bib shorts, I make sure they're the right side out. This is the way I, I fold it kind of halfway, like that, so you can see the chamois. This is, these are the channels here, is right and left side. Now you typically gonna sit, if you see, 
typically going to sit in this region, but you got to figure it out for yourself. So what I'll do is I'll just, you know, I just place, take a little bit on your finger like that, and I get it right in that sit bone area. And you rub it in there. Put on, you know, you can put on liberally as much as you want. You want to, 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 you know, have a layer of lubrication. And then I'll come up this way because sometimes you lean it forward if you're, uh, you know, doing intervals or you're in a race and you're going to be on the, the nose of the saddle, on the rivet, as they say. And you may, you may get some rubbing in here. So that's pretty much what I'll do. But you can actually just limit it to just, just this area if you want. But you don't have to put it all over this, all over there, you know, everywhere. You can actually also put it on your body too. And I'll put it sometimes on the inside of my thighs, inside here, because sometimes you get chafing there. Um, okay, so when I first put my VIP shorts on, you know, you get them on and you, know, you feel fine standing up, but you want to, when you want to, you got to get into the saddle, the, the riding position, to get it in the right spot. So when you sit down, you know, it's not, these legs aren't pulling down here and then pulling the chamois out of position. And then you're sitting on it and every time you bring your leg up and down, it's going to rub. So you don't want that. Um, so what I do is I first get my bibs on, I kind of like hike them up. I'll get these all the way up where they're not supposed to be, you know, and then get the chamois pulled and get it like this here. And then I'll adjust the legs back down so they're not pulling on, pulling on the chamois out of position. Um, so it's in that position, it's not going to move. Um, several times I've forgotten to put my chamois cream on before a race and you're dressed, you're like, oh, you know, you can apply it with your shorts on. Though, in some states, it's illegal to look someone in the eye while you're doing it. But, so now what do you do if you already have a, a, a saddle sore? Um, you know, the best thing to do is uh, not ride for a while if it's that painful. Um, sometimes you can tough it out, but you got to be really, really careful not to keep, uh, keep aggravating. It's just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, sometimes you can pop them like a pimple. I know it's gross, but, uh, that'll, that can work, but you know, it's, it's, it's kind of hard to do yourself. If you have a loved one that really, really loves you and can do it for you, you know, that, that may be your option. And sometimes you have to go actually go to the doctor and get them lanced if it gets that bad. Um, so, uh, be proactive in, in, in preventing them from happening in the first place because um, they can be an issue. And if you get them chronically, seriously go look at your saddle, look at your bib shorts, and look at your bike fit. If you're, all your pressure is on your saddle, then you're not fitted right. You should have kind of an equal pressure between your hands and your feet and your, and your, and your butt. You know, it shouldn't be all butt. So get a bike fit. That's one of my f first recommendations to anyone new to s the sport. I wish I would have done that in the beginning. You know, you're like, oh my God, it's too expensive. It's worth every freaking penny, man. That's, that's saddle sores and chamois cream and all the fun stuff that no one talks about in cycling. But thank you for watching and uh, be safe out there. And I hope your rides are saddle sore free.